You know, hopefully this Black Friday weekend is not an indication of the shopping season ahead. A dangerous few days in the metro wrapped up with two shootings and a vandalism spree in three popular shopping areas. Tonight we learned the 15 year old suspect in one of those shootings has turned himself into police. Police Romero breaks down everything that happened. Retailers were expecting a surge of shoppers ahead of Black Friday this year, just not this kind. Police swarmed Albuquerque's Coronado Center Friday after multiple people reported a shooting. So APD officers, our, our emergency communications center got calls coming in about 3.52, so shortly before 4 p.m. at Coronado Mall that there were reports of shots being fired. APD says 14-year-old Isaiah Montoya pictured here and another teen got in a fight with two other juveniles inside the mall. The Burnley County Sheriff's Office off-duty lieutenant um, saw what was happening and did a, had a foot pursuit of the offender, chased him out of the mall area. Uh, that offender was able to get out and, and leave the mall area so we know he's not in the mall. Montoya allegedly pulled out a gun and fired one shot outside of the mall, causing shoppers to flee in a panic. It was terrifying. I'm but, relieved. I mean, yeah, it's relieved that it's like we got all of our people, like we did a little head count and we've been kind of like keeping in contact with everyone. But um, yeah, it kind of makes you real um, scared to go shopping, you know, I mean, on big days like this, it's like because I thought it was maybe like a planned thing because of course they plan it on Black Friday, you know. Not 24 hours later, another shopping area on Albuquerque's west side near Cottonwood Mall cleared out after police say two people tried shoplifting from Kohl's. They arrested a woman, but a man made a run for it. The male suspect then fled into the Cold Stone Creamery that had customers inside. Officers began to try to evacuate people out of the Cold Stone Creamery for their safety. Officers taped off three areas near Cottonwood Mall. Coles, Coldstone, and the Medical Plaza across the street on Alameda. Officers made contact with the male suspect there, attempted to get him to surrender and yield to arrest. He refused to do that, and uh, shots were fired. That suspect died after getting shot by police. And in Albuquerque's Old Town, owners of Genuine Southwest woke up to shattered glass and a broken window. Here's some surveillance video overnight into Saturday. You can see someone breaking the window and coming inside the store, leaving a mess for the owners to clean up. Their neighbor's tiny grocer ABQ also got their window busted. Both of the stores were able to open late Saturday. One business owner who wanted to remain anonymous said, sadly, these situations are becoming common in Old Town. It happens quite a bit. So there's nothing we could really do. We just have to kind of work around it. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Feliz Romero, KOB4. And again, Isaiah Montoya is now in custody. We have since learned that he's actually 15 years old. Tonight, we also learned the names of the suspects involved in that shooting near Cottonwood Mall. The man shot and killed by police was Pete Martinez. His girlfriend, Monica Montoya, police say she is now facing multiple charges, including shoplifting and conspiracy to commit a felony.